Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. They say that there's always three sides to every story. Yours, mine, and then there's the truth. Political propaganda has always been around. The growth of social media hysteria has become a daily part of our lives. And no matter where we look, what we listen to, we are left in a position where we either favor one side or the other. We are manipulated so that eventually we are not quite sure what the truth actually is. Can we open our devotion in prayer? Father God, thank you for the opportunity to meet again and hear your word, your word of truth. I pray that you would bless this time and what you have to share through me would be meaningful to those listening. Amen. Can we start by turning to John 18 and reading from verse 28 through to 38. <clears throat> and then they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. And it was early morning, but they themselves did not go into the praetorium, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, If he were not an evildoer, we would not have delivered him to you. Then Pilate said to them, You take him and judge him according to your law. Therefore the Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death, that the saying of Jesus might be, fulf be fulfilled which he spoke, signifying by what death he would die. And then Pilate entered the praetorium again, called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this? Or did others tell you this concerning me? Pilate answered, I am a Jew. Your own nation and your chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight, so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into this world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is the truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Perhaps this whole issue has been highlighted for me even more lately due, due to a documentary I watched recently and a fictitious series I'm currently watching about the American president. But it seems society have lost the ability to tell the truth. We are caught up in a struggle between left and right. You are either for or against. You are in or you are out. Which is not the problem because I do believe that there is right and wrong. Jesus made it clear to us when he lived amongst us that there are ways to treat people and there are ways not to treat people. The problem has arisen in that we seem to have lost sight of what this truth is and where we get our information from. From our passage we can see that even when Jesus when he was in his final days, knowing his dest destiny, he opted to stick to the truth. He made no excuses. He didn't try and spin a story to convince Pilate otherwise. He didn't lie to avoid what was about to happen to him. I am the light, I am the truth, says Jesus to us. When in doubt, when you are unsure, come and spend time with me. And I will show you, I will lead you. Follow me and my example. From our reading, we see that Pilate confronts Jesus and says to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Have a look at Jesus' response. He says to him, Is this your opinion or what others have told you? Are you listening to the gossip, the talk on the street? Are you believing your tweets, your Facebook posts, your news feeds? You don't even know that I've been captured based on rumors, stories, and fears. And then Pilate goes on to say, what is truth? And without even waiting for the answer, he walks away. Without the answer, without the truth, he makes a call. 
He walks outside to the crowd and he leaves it up to them. He says he cannot find any fault, but he's not willing to make a stand. John 8, 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. We read from Mark 12, verses 30 and 31, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. I believe that we are living in times where God is calling us to find truth in his word. Instead of following the masses or reading the biased news feeds, we, turn, we need to turn to the word. We need to spend time listening and hearing the truth. We need to be living lives where God is the center and the source of all our information. And we need to obey the second instruction given to us in Mark, to love our neighbor. And so my challenge today to you is this. Before believing the next article you read, before spreading the information which you have, which may be one-sided or biased, or telling a story before you have all the facts and the truth, stop and ask yourself, why am I doing this? Do I know this as fact? Will it hurt my neighbor? What would Jesus have done? Let us close in prayer. Father God, I'm often so quick with my words and actions that I often don't think of the consequences or repercussions of the things that I say or do. I'm often caught up in the hype and the hysteria of what is happening around me based on someone's opinion who doesn't always know the truth. Lord, help me to turn to you. Give me the courage that you had that day with Pilate to seek the truth, to tell the truth. Lord, I pray for our country. I pray for truth. I pray for honesty. And I pray that we would learn to love our neighbor as ourselves. Amen.